Antilles. I figured I'd just do a little video about what it's like to live on the island since I've had some new subscribers. Yeah, sometimes it's idyllic paradise. But when the ferry isn't working, you are stranded here like a couple days ago when the ferry wasn't working. So yeah, there's that. And uh, you gotta pay like a ferry fee. It's like five bucks for a person, but it's like, uh, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks for your car every time. And you only have to pay one way. There's one store on the island, one general store, one restaurant, and one cafe. Uh, there is a post office at the general store. It's pretty peaceful. It's really nice during the summer. Come during the summer to Anderson Island. Come during the summer. <laughs> it's nice. And uh, during the winter, it can get really cold and rainy like this. So uh, not much else to say. Uh, you can get, it can get pretty boring here sometimes. A lot of people here are very smart and that they have uh, uh, cars. <laughs> so they can go to their job on the mainland over there and then come back here. Oh, uh, two topics of interest. That's Ketron Island. Uh, otherwise, only like 20 people that live there or so. And uh, that's where the guy crashed his airplane into. So we're kind of famous for that, especially on 4chan. Ha ha ha, yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> and that's McNeil Island, where all the sexual predators are. <laughs> and then there's the mainland, where, where, all, where all you guys are. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty peaceful. Um, there's like seven churches. Uh, there's definitely a higher ratio of Christians. Um, definitely more white people. <laughs> um, I wouldn't necessarily say racist. I would just say more upper middle class. It used to be a, a retirement community and it's sort of grown into a more of a family community. Anyway, I uh, love you guys. Please like, subscribe, ask comments. Um, uh, okay, have a great day, guys. Hopefully.